So it turns out we were, we're going over themes and storyline. Welcome back to the Anime Club, everybody. I'm Nick Knack. With me is Vorn, Realm, and I think Seki's still here, but she might be to the moon by now. Nick Knack did a boo boo. <laughs> what? Characters. <laughs> I'm leaving that in. Oh, I said it because you shared yeah. the first story last time. Oh, okay. I was like, I'll have to check between episodes. <laughs> so, themes and storyline. Um, I guess I'll comment that there's. This thing's kind of divided into, I'll say, three mini arcs yes, here. Yes, it, it yeah, is. Like a little intro thing with Luffy. And Zoro. And Zoro. And but, Kobe. And Kobe. And then you move into the buggy, buggy. arc, and then you move into the Usopp Syrup arc, village, the Syrup yeah. Village. Um, I'll say the story began to kind of way, like, it, 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 it sort of dragged on towards the end for me, because it did, like, the first couple arcs didn't have this problem. However, then you get to the Syrup Village arc where it's not Dragon Ball bad, but you end up with like three or four episodes all on this exact same fight on this exact same hill. And it's just like, can we move on to a, pe a different piece of scenery anytime soon? I'm dying for a change of scenery. Yeah. Well, luckily we did finish the arc. Uh, story pretty much for me was kind of very simplistic. It was easy and predictable. It's really a for kids like, and yeah, it's a Well, shonen. this isn't the four kids that we watched, hopefully. I hope <laughs> no, not, but, it, but it is, this is targeted yeah, yeah, no. toward kids. Yeah. It's yeah. shonen. So it's obviously targeted to young boys ages 10 to 14. I, I mean, the early seasons are quite, uh, I'd almost call them kodomomoke sometimes, but it's a little too violent. Yeah, I, I was going to say, there's a, a, yeah. bit blood for, a bit of yeah. blood in there. Yeah, there, it's a little too violent. Also, kudos for the violence so early on. Yay. Uh, I, I will say, though, um, so One Piece is really, really long, right? And so it has a little bit of a, uh, it has a little bit of a weird breakup for arcs, right? So we're talking about there are three arcs in the 17 episodes we watched, and there are. There are three arcs inside of this bigger arc inside of a saga so one piece has so many arcs that like right now we're watching the first three arcs of the east blue saga it has so many arcs the arcs have to be broken into arcs and there's so many of those arcs that the arcs have to be broken into sagas yeah yeah so this is all part of the, basically the first half of one piece which is called the super rookie saga and then this is the first part east blue and we're watching romance dawn orange town and syrup village um, so, th and this is all, this is all part of like the beginning of One Piece. So we're, we're finding crew members, we're kind of moving along, we're like seeing, uh, fighting powers and that kind of stuff. It's, it's intro, this, this is, this entire arc just introduces character after character with their own arcs. So far, the only characters we have, like our, our only cast, main cast, like so far we have in the main cast is Luffy, Zoro, Nami, and Usopp. Usopp. Yeah, yeah. And we've had arcs for... Luffy and Zoro, and then um, Usopp. So Nami's arc technically hasn't started. Uh, yeah. Buggy is still part of uh, Orange Town. Is still technically part of Luffy Zoro because because mm -hmm. Nami has a bigger arc later that we're going to be seeing. Yes, I remember most of Nami's uh, Nami's arc, but I won't spoil anything for obvious reasons. Yeah, Nami's arc is a good one though, so I'm excited to get us to it. Yeah, um, but I mean. <sighs> I mean, the, the theme, I think, I, I almost feel bad talking about themes because I can't help but think of One Piece as, like, you the greater. You think of as the whole, but as not, the whole you can't really go over the, the themes presented in this yeah. part. I mean, if, if I were to say themes presented in this part, definitely friendship. Right? Like, gathering friends. Like, that's definitely because Luffy's, Luffy's like, Nakama. feel against, uh... The, what was his name? Uh, yeah. Captain Kuro. Like, That's not how friends treat. Yeah, yeah. Luffy's yeah. holding the comma thing is really big. And also, like, the freedom of being a pirate. Like, the freedom it affords you, mm -hmm. I think, are maybe, oh, geez, are maybe the two that are really obvious here. I, think, I, I, think... I wouldn't say there's any more obvious. I think a good way to I think a good way to summarize this is that to summarize one piece is it's the is it's the journey not the destination. Yeah, that well, um, 
the destination it's about, it's is cracking a, it's up about, It's about the journey, it but not... One piece was the friends we made along the way. God, if that actually happens, I might shoot myself. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually, I, I really hate that idea because there's so much been built up. But that that's talking about later stuff, so we shouldn't get into that. I, mean, I just, I brought it up because I thought piece. it would be perfect and I didn't think you'd bring up any spoilers anyways. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying really hard to stay away from spoilers. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm trying so hard, but yeah, no, I, I it's pretty simplistic. I mean, it's it's shonen, friends and freedom. Like we're gonna do what we want. Freedom? Did somebody free say freedom? Hoo ha! Merc. Yes. <sighs> no, no. When someone makes a move of which we don't approve, who oh, is it Christ. that always intervenes? <laughs> Send the Marines. Well, guys, uh, I think that wraps it up for themes and storyline, unless Vorn wants to make another comment. Justice! I can't do that anymore enthusiastically. Good for you guys. Oh we'll my see you god, next time if with you. The characters in Waifu Wars. If you side with the Marines, 